Hello everyone. Today we will talk about dividend paid by a company does not make any impact on the price of share under irrelevance theory of dividend. Today we will talk about Modigliani Miller approach and we will explain this approach with the help of an example. In this example, EPS is rupees 10, price earning ratio 10, cost of equity 10%, Number of outstanding shares 50,000. Expected dividend, which is D1, is 8 rupees per share. Expected net income 5 lakh. And the new investment required 10 lakh rupees. As per MM approach, we want to find out dividend paid by a company does not make any impact on the value of the firm. And now, with using this data, we will just calculate that. So, we are taking the first case when dividend is paid. Okay. So I'm taking here the both cases, dividend is paid or not paid. So we are saying that if dividend is paid, if we say this cell equals to paid one, then the answer is eight rupees. Otherwise, zero. And enter. So we can say that if dividend is paid, it is eight rupees. And if dividend is not paid, it is zero rupees. So we are taking the first case when dividend is paid. To calculate P naught, we use this formula equal EPS multiplied by price earning ratio. So the price is hundred rupees. To calculate current market price, we use this formula P naught multiplied by one plus K minus D one. So we we'll use equal P0 is 100 multiplied in bracket 1 plus K, K is 10% minus D1 and D1 is 8 rupees here. So if we pay dividend, the current price is 102. Now to find out how much amount is required to issue new equity. We will use this formula investment minus expected income minus net dividend paid to the all equity shareholder which is equal to n into d1. So we will use this formula equal investment minus expected net income is 5 lakh minus number of equity shares are 50,000 multiplied by dividend paid. So the total amount is 9 lakh. Actually, we paid 8 rupees dividend, right, to 50,000 people. So amount paid is 4 lakh. And here, 5 lakh minus 4 lakh is 1 lakh. And 10 lakh minus 1 lakh give you 9 lakh rupees. So how many new shares we will issue that? We will use this formula equal amount required divided by P1 and the answer is 8,823.53 shares and now if you want to calculate the value form we'll use formula equal number of shares multiplied by P0 and the P0 is 100 and the value form is 50 lakh rupees. If we say dividend is not paid, if dividend is not paid, if we just select not paid, so price of the share is 110, new share required 4545.45, but the value form remains same. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.